so I just got off work, picked up my son, Christian. Elijah decided he wanted to go to work with his dad tomorrow, so that's what he's doing. I'm just randomly thinking, like, this year's almost over. I feel like I don't have nothing to show for it. You know, I, I'm blessed to still be working, but I still feel kind of down because I literally have interviewed at every hospital in Chicago and I haven't gotten a job. So I guess it's me. Uh, of course, it has to be me, right? But I think I interview really good. Like, I have, and I do interview really well. Just I feel like I told my husband yesterday. Once you get to the interview, then they hit you with the question, well, we're looking for someone who can stay to 8 o'clock or we're looking for someone to go to Skokie three, to, three times a week, I mean, three times a month. Are you able to do that? No, I can't do that. I can go to Skokie three times a month. I could, or not even Skokie, I'm just using Skokie as an example, but anywhere like, like, they be wanting you to travel to different clinics or whatever. It depends on where they are, but I, I'm skeptical to do, do that because I have my babies. Like I have to pick up my kids. Um, Andre picks up. Uh, I pick up my kids three times a week, and Andre's schedule can change at any time. Like sometimes he does training. Sometimes he has to work five days a week. So if he works five days a week. I have to pick up my kids every day. So I can't go to different clinics three times a month like I can't um and then stay in to eight o'clock daycare gets out at six so and at the school program also ends at six so I have to pick up my kids so when someone told me like you should just say yes and then when you get the job you should switch on them no you can't do that because what you're hired for the shift you're hired for is what you're hired for so I'm not going to set myself up put myself in a position to be losing a job soon like get it because god forbid i'm on that job i'm gonna be thinking the whole time like i have to go pick up my kids i don't have nobody to pick up my kids like me and my husband only two that really pick up our kids and sometimes we need somebody we short and short i ask one of my sister-in-laws to pick up my kids and they always come through but nine out of ten we pick up we pick up pick the, my kids up so I just, I, I just feel some type of way about not being able to find another job and not feel like I should be watched. Someone my age at 30 years old should be. And um, I just feel really down about that. I know God don't make no mistakes. I probably It's probably better things coming my way, but financially it's really killing me and straining me to stay at my job I'm at now. So I've been looking for better ways to, you know, make money and stuff like that. Or get another job and get a second job. My husband get a second job. Uh, things like that. That's why I'm, like, really trying to perfect this makeup thing. Because I know if I do really good with it, I can use it as my side hustle. But I'm not ready to do other people yet. I barely can do myself. So I'm still trying to get really good at that. I'm thinking about taking a class maybe. I don't know. But that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, and I was I was randomly thinking about things like, and my husband had made some comment about rape or something like that. He had made a comment about, uh, I think about the windows being up, something like that. Somebody climbing through the windows because all our windows are up. And I was like, damn, I'm like, rape? That's too far. I don't have to, you know, use rape as an example because I don't play about that. And I was thinking like, damn, you know, it's other ways to rape motherfuckers, like. How you messy rape females, how you like tell them bullshit, like you pr make promises to us and you don't uphold those promises and then you get the pussy and then you flee or and you never hear from you again or you got um, a lot of women get in a situation where you get pregnant by a nigga and he tell he gonna be there for you and you get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger and the baby get here and he's a ghost. He ain't come. He end up breaking up with you because now you're boring. Cause you have you have something else to do other than be on his stupid ass all day. So it's I feel like it's other ways to rape people and take power from people. I feel like when you lie to people and play mental games with them, that's a big that's that's really fucked up. So mentally fuck up somebody, man. Like you can really mad fuck people like that. Some people are everybody not mentally strong to catch those things. So well, I feel like when you mentally fuck up with people, mentally fuck people. 
that's a whole different situation because I feel like a lot of women are mentally fucked. Like, a lot of us females can't leave a man because we're mentally fucked. Like, it's not the physical part because he mentally fucks you up before he physically fucks you up anyway. So it's all about a mental thing. Because I know me and Andre went through the... Actually, Andre used to, like, mentally get in my head. Like, before we was serious, serious, like, he was immensely like, getting in my head. And I had to, like, hell no. Nah. That shit don't sound right. That's why when he's trying to be bullshitting me now, I don't let nothing he do fly past me. But, yeah. Niggas really must mad fucking these females. Like, you got to be mentally strong when you fuck with a man. And you got to... And, and when he show you the first sign of bullshit, once he show who he really are, who he really is, believe him that first time. Because it ain't going to get no better. And he not testing you. He he, he testing... He not... He testing you. Because men know who he, he can get over that... Who can... Who he can do that shit with. Like, he really... He, he, he mad fucking you. So, they test you. I think men test you early on. Like, if a nigga asks you for money money within 30 days of you fucking with him, you should leave him. Because I feel like in 30 days, you shouldn't be asking me for shit other than my birthday. Don't ask me nothing. My mom name, maybe. But other than that, uh, not even ask me my mom. Don't ask me nothing about nobody but me within 30 days. Y'all be giving niggas, y'all, car keys, socials, pussy, all that shit. Instruments to your kids. No. Niggas be fucking you. That's how a lot of people end up in the situation. Like, I work in the mental health, so I know it's so many women that come in there that got their kids taken away from them because a nigga. That's not even their daddy. Or some of them lost in you know, their homes because a man. How you home? Because he was doing this and doing that. Why the fuck you ain't putting him out? It's like he mad fucked you. He took he he controlled your man. What made you physically react to doing everything he told you to do or didn't tell you to do? Yeah, I just do a lot of shit like that at work because I work much to help. But yeah, yes. The more controls not charged. I got a bad charger. I have to buy one. No. Okay, but but yeah, that's how this sort of thing. Comment, like, subscribe. Look, I have to guard you. See, large Christian keep asking me about the more control to the game. The game chargers don't work because they broke the more control charger three times. So that's all I was thinking. So I just want to let you guys know what's in my head. Like, comment, subscribe. Good night.